All right, so here's a comparison real quick. This is the one and a half to six, which we just saw. This is the 139 Spectre TR. So as you can see here, all you have, it's a one times, and look how, look how light I'm turning it. I'm barely touching it. It flips and then it locks, obviously, but you don't have to tighten it. It doesn't have to, you don't have to use any strength to, to do it. Let me see, this it one times. Oh, it's done here. So that's one time down there, excuse me. Okay, nine. It comes with flips, so you're always protecting your lenses. And this one I'll be able to demonstrate. Also, this is your uh, intensity level. So here's off, and it has five different brightness settings. So let's go to the brightest right away, I guess, to go, and we're gonna flip it to one. One time, and let's look through it. Okay, let me put it on the thing. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, we need some eye relief on this, so it won't work. You have to be back a little bit. So here's that. There we go. So now, as I'm turning it, see, it actually flips it like a rotating box. Now it's three times. Let's go to that license plate right there. And now let's go to nine times. Oh yeah, look at that. And then you can see the bullet drop compensator there better. Comes into view. So 400 meters, 600 meters, and 900 meters right there. And then if I put it down and I turn it all the way up, See if we can get it to glow. Oh, I can't see it. Let me see. Oh, we didn't put any batteries in there yet. That's why. But it, it would glow just the same as the other one. But that's uh, that's the Spectre TR by Elkin. And it comes with a mount. Again, same system. Locking. Just a beautiful scope. This is for long distance. Extreme long distance. This would be for, you know, up to 400 or so meters. It would be good. But uh, this one is if you want to go out, you know, try to shoot 1,000 meters.